Oh, we got the old cylinder head. I took the intake valves out just to give you an idea. how dirty a uh, and clumped up cylinder head can get. 160,000 miles. I doubt it's ever been off or serviced. Um, just try to gauge about that to what we did to the new one. And here's the new one. And a mild, very mild port and polish. Focused more on the polishing. I'm at the step now where I'm going to be lapping the valves and then clean everything. And I'm going to go a little higher on the polish once the valves are lapped. See the difference right away. You can see where the line where the line is and it's a fine line but that's where your ceiling's actually happening not here because you can just see how much crud there is on this now what happens is if you hear the term hot uh, valve hot spots or something all of this carbon we've been pulling out of this engine is what you don't want because Every once in a while, and this does not happen really even very often, but there's always a chance of it, of a piece of carbon getting trapped. You know, it's one thing for a piece significant enough to break off, but a piece significant enough to break off and then get caught between the valve and the seat, and it hangs the valve for a split second. Um, you know, and then you get crud that embeds in here, like this kind of this one pretty much is that that's what it's that's what we're looking at here again this one hasn't been cleaned I've cleaned everything else I just wanted to leave one exhaust and one intake um, apart to show you what's going on here um, but like I said what will happen is obviously if you you have excessive clearance on your valve where it's trying to seal onto the into the cylinder head you're gonna let and like I said this is on the exhaust side so during combustion you're going to have combustion gases exiting through the exhaust when it, when it, uh, because you're losing power and you're essentially losing compression. You're, it's a compression loss through the valve. Is better. This is basically what I'm trying to what I'm trying to explain here. You can see all this crap that gets embedded on there. And again, this is on the exhaust side, so it's the dirty side. Moving on to the intakes. You know, clean versus dirty. So, similar principle. The ceiling surface is more, uh, the ceiling area is more evident. You can see where it's, it's at the edge. And then you, you can almost still see on the one I cleaned up. The intakes clean, always clean up a lot nicer than the exhausts for obvious reasons. <laughs> but, you know, it's almost, it's almost impossible to see but again these are they're going to be relapped so i just wanted to get a quick video of that
Alright guys, we got the cylinder head pretty much ready to go back together. Cleaned off the uh, valve stems where the seals ride. Got new seals. Still a little dirty here and there. Um, not going crazy with it. I mean, it's as clean as it's really going to... It's as clean as it needs to be. Um, I brake cleaned the heck out of it. Tried to clean off. This guy... There's just so much paint on this thing. And there's some pretty hefty, heavy duty paint. I mean, it's kind of hard to get off even with all my materials. It all, I didn't want to start digging into the aluminum, but I mean, it's gonna be fine. I'm not really worried about it. But as you can see, we got our nice, nice shiny, ported, ported and polished cylinder head. I was gonna go just a little higher on the polish, but I just really uh, just want to put this thing back together at this point. Nothing personal, you know. I'm not building this thing to be a, a horsepower monster. I'm, I'm not building. Uh, this is stock. I'm gonna be a stock build going back together. So I'm gonna put the intakes on first. What I'm doing, putting a little bit of WD-40 on the uh, valve stem, tip of the valve stem where the seal rides. You can use a 10 mil as it kind of pops right on and gets right on the ledge to press it down on if you even need to. Which ideally you do. I'll put it on this one first. I mean it and they, they pop right on. Quite effortless especially when you have just that little bit of lube. It's a very common uh, job, very common failure point. A lot of times when you see a car that isn't smoking while it's driving but then stops at a stoplight and then smokes a little on the takeoff, I mean that can, oops, that can either be rings or not quite. It's usually valve stem seals. You can spot that a mile away, literally. Got the cylinder heads. This is basically marked number one. I've got little marks here. Uh, I've got the valves lapped and marked exactly where they go. I'm gonna go ahead and start reassembling the cylinder head. 
going to add just a, just a little bit WD-40. It's probably really use engine oil. In fact, I'll probably just do that. I'm going to install the number one valve back in the spot where it goes. Which is going to be right here. massage it through the uh, sorry to massage it through the the seal uh, the seal you know I push too dang hard I mean this is a valve uh, spring compression tool kit You'll see how it's uh, designed here in a minute, but basically you have these two horseshoe style braces that you have to bolt down in various locations back on the cylinder head. Um, I happen to already have the right metric bolts set aside. I don't remember, I don't think these came with a kit, but I've just come across you know certain certain bolts i need for whatever i'm working on i just hold on to them and leave them in the kit and i think the last time i used this was at, well actually on a cat engine but the i have used this on audi folks and folks like an audi stuff before so i obviously don't want to go too crazy this is aluminum so this works like this put your rod through corresponding hole and there's a burr great now you have something to work with a point of levers you have this tool different locations got this fancy thing again this is just a mock-up you put your spring on I'm gonna move to the other camera here in a minute put your spring on put your retainer on and then that rides on the outside as you can see it's so close to this bracket which is why it's a little precarious and as you saw i stuffed that rag in the combustion chamber to help hold that valve up because we're not essentially pushing down on the valve but you don't want it to be able to travel any that's not going to help you so then basically this works like this you have your little notches you have to find the sweet spot This is going to be tricky. Okay, so about right there. I know this is really hard for you all to see, but you have to match up the hole. It's going to work best with the angle of the valve, which turned out to be that. As you can see, pressing down. This is hard with gloves on. So as you can see, pressing down. This is hard with gloves on. Now y'all didn't really see that. I'll show you a different I'll show you again. You know, I didn't clean all the springs off, and I, it's just paint, guys. I didn't do it. Someone else did. I'm not going to put any more time into screwing with this thing. The important stuff's done. The ports are punched out, cleaned out, and polished. The valves are lapped. The cylinder head's clean. All this little extra paint that's on the inside where the oil's going to sit, I'm, I'm not 
really worried about that. Oh, looky looky. Can't take that out of the way. Grab the other one. It is annoying as it looks. As you can see, she is back together for the most part.